This may just be the most expensive one brand wash day to date. Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a one brand wash day featuring Aveda. On this channel, we have done high-end one brand wash days and affordable one brand wash days. We have a wide, wide range of different comparison videos showing you exactly how each of these products perform side by side by side. This is a series wherein we use three products to wash and style this head of hair so that you have more information as the consumer about how each of these products performs. It's a very stripped down routine. We're eliminating a lot of variables so that you have a very clear comparison. We're doing the wavy curly hair science with this series and I sure hope you find it helpful. And can I just say that y'all have some expensive tastes. I asked you guys what one brand wash day you would be interested in seeing next and y'all said Aveda Nutriplenish. So I hopped on the internet to pick up the products to test them out and my goodness, my goodness, $40 for these? Well, not this one. $39 for the shampoo, $47 for the conditioner, and 38, yes, $38 for the gel. I don't know why these prices are absolutely kind of like blowing me away. I'm 90% sure that this is by far the most expensive one brand wash day we've ever had. And I'm going to try really hard not to let that price tag cloud my judgment, but we all know how it goes. The more expensive a product is, the harder you are on that product, the harsher you judge it. You want to get the most for your money. And if these don't turn me into a glorious, magnificent mermaid, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. So let's take a quick look at the before hair. I'm at the point where I don't remember the last time I washed my hair could be two days ago, could be five days ago. It is a crazy and wild spring season here in West Texas, and I'm definitely not being nice to these products today because we've got a lot of fun activities happening. It is windy outside, it is spring, it is humid, and I will be sitting outside cheering at a baseball game. So let's go ahead and get this hair washed and styled so we can start putting these products to the test. Alrighty guys, here we go, getting the hair nice and soaking wet before we grab the Aveda Nutriplenish Shampoo. This is the light moisture version, which is the ones that y'all recommended I try, and I am very excited about it. You can see that I tried my best to grab just a tiny little bit of the shampoo. It's creamy and quite runny. I'm starting to work this into my roots, massaging my scalp with the pads of my fingers, really taking my time here. This is a very, very interesting feeling shampoo. I do think it's quite concentrated, which I'm happy about. If my products are expensive, I want a little bit to go a very long way. This product is one of those that does that. I kind of felt like my hair soaked up the shampoo. It kind of absorbed into my hair. So I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of water to my hair while I'm shampooing to see if I can't really reactivate that lather a bit. This sometimes happens when my roots are incredibly oily, greasy. The longer I go between wash days, the more I feel like my hair soaks up shampoo. Now, I really debated with myself here about whether or not I was going to shampoo twice and I went ahead and shampooed a second time. I grabbed even less shampoo on the second time around. And while I'm shampooing for the second time around, let's talk about the ingredients. We have some pretty normal surfactants in here. This product appears to be sulfate, silicone, and drying alcohol free. Some pretty interesting ingredients that I don't normally see are pomegranate seed oil, coconut fruit juice, oat bran extract, orange peel extract, and hydrolyzed Andonesia digitata extract. I'm not even sure I'm saying that right. As I'm rinsing this out, I notice that my hair feels squeaky clean. It definitely gave me what felt like a really solid clean, but the links of my hair felt good, kind of nourished. We didn't get super snarly and tangly. So my hair had that squeaky clean feeling without the tangles. Now I'm grabbing the Nutriplenish Conditioner. This is the light moisture version to go with the light moisture shampoo. Again, I'm doing my best to not grab very much. 
and I'm starting to distribute this through my mid lengths to ends first. As I finger detangle, I slowly take the product up towards my roots. I'm one of those people that is going to condition my hair from root to tip. I find that it really does help with the halo frizz, the breakage way up near my root. I like doing that. So as I'm finger detangling, I'm noticing that this product has pretty good slip, but it's not the most slippery conditioner I've ever used. And I'm going to finish distributing this conditioner with my bounce curl defining brush. As I'm doing that, let's talk about the ingredients. This has satyryl alcohol, behetrimony methyl sulfate, both fantastic ingredients that I wanna see in my conditioners. It also has squalane, which I feel like when I see that ingredient in an ingredients label, my hair feels buttery smooth. And as I finish brushing through my hair, my hair definitely has this really nice conditioned feeling. I'm going to do my standard squish to condition by adding just a touch of water to the back of my head and thoroughly squishing and pulsing this conditioner into my hair. One, to reactivate the hydrogen bonds in my hair after my hair was pulled back in a bun for multiple days. And two, it just gives my hair extra time to marinate in the conditioner. It also allows me to assess how my hair liked the product. When my hair clumps up and is super juicy, chunky ringlets with zero frizz at this point, I know that the shampoo and conditioner did their job. I would give this a four out of five stars. It's not the absolute best clumpage I've had post squish to condish, but it's, it's pretty good. Now I'm going to follow the instructions on the conditioner and rinse this product out completely. Once I've rinsed my hair out, I'm going to grab my Bouts Curl Defining Brush one more time and define my curls. Y'all seen this once or twice at this point if you've been hanging out with me here on this channel, but I really focus on pushing the hair away from my face while I'm upside down. This creates parts along the top of my scalp, which allows me to have a really nice straight defined part when I flip right side up. It also encourages all the root volume. I tend to be pretty volume impaired. I'm pulling the hair off the sides and back of my head as well to kind of point the hair in the direction I want it to go when I flip right side up. I also take my time defining a quick little crown section so that there's no wonkiness over my cowlick. I give my hair a quick little scrunch to make sure that the curl clumps are roughly the size that I want them to be. If they're too small, I'm going to add just a touch more water. And if they are too big, I'm gonna kind of scrunch and pulse more water out of my hair. The amount of water that's in my hair determines my curl clump size. This is looking pretty good. So I'm going to grab the Aveda Nutriplenish Curl Jelly. Hmm, interesting, interesting, okay really good gel consistency. It's clear, it's medium consistency, not too runny, not too thick, which means it's going to be fairly easy to apply. Also, I give the fragrances on all of these products a five out of five stars. It's very, very pleasant, and it's not aggravating my terrible spring allergies. I'm just gonna glaze this over everywhere, and I notice that as I glaze this over my hair, I still have product on my hands. Again, this is one of those that goes a long way, which I'm quite happy about. For $38, I want my gel to go a very, very, very long way. So this is good, this is good. While I scrunch this in, let's talk about ingredients. It does have hydrogenated castor oil, which is a lovely hair ingredient. This is an occlusive ingredient, which means it's going to form a barrier around the hair, helping the hair retain hydration, moisture, nourishment, all the good things. It also has apple fruit extract, coconut oil, mango seed butter, sugar cane extract. But as I read the ingredients label, I'm not noticing just an absolute ton of hold ingredients. This is meant to be a defining conditioning jelly. I don't see right quick looking over the bottle where they talk about hold at all. It's mainly for shine and definition but it has a very interesting feel as I scrunch this into my hair. This is what the curl clumps are looking like after I have thoroughly scrunched in this gel. Definition, shrinkage, pretty good. Tiny bit of wet frizz, but nothing that has me too terribly concerned. Now I'm going to go plop my hair and diffuse and be back to scrunch out the crunch with you guys. Oh my goodness, that diffusing time took 10 million years. You see these extra wrinkles on my face? That's because I was diffusing my hair for that long. 
I feel like I've aged a bit. I don't know what it is about these products, but they definitely made my hair hold onto water like crazy. In fact, like I diffused my hair to 90% dry, which took a very, very, very long time. And then I've wandered around my house for a significant period of time, and I'm pretty sure that, yep, yeah, no, my hair is still damp. In order to be perfectly fair to these products, I will wait until my hair is 100% dry to scrunch out the crunch. So I thought I was coming here to scrunch out the crunch with you guys, but I, I don't think I can yet, in good curly hair conscience, scrunch out my hair just yet while it's still damp, because if you scrunch out the crunch before your hair is 100% dry, you're messing with those hydrogen bonds in your hair that aren't fully set yet because your hair is still damp. All right, all right. I'll be back in a minute. One moment, please. All right, I'm back. It's finally actually dry. I may or may not have hover diffused the damp spots just a little bit so that I could finally scrunch out the crunch. I am excited to see these results. All right, there's really no cast whatsoever, but things are just like, the taddest bit stringy and giving your hair an extra fluff and scrunch once it's 100% dry to kind of open up the curls can be pretty magical. Uh-oh, <laughs> this spot right here. There we go, there we go. Okay, it was all like kind of stringy and doing this number was fluffing it up. There we go. This is interesting. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Okay, hold on. There we go. See? Really straight parts. That's why I like my brush styling technique. Okay, okay. I am having trouble with that section right there. There's not really a cast. It's just like really stringy looking, but it's not greasy, it's just like trying to be super PC. I'm very confused. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't look greasy. I don't know why it's being so PC and my, my roots are being <laughs> so wonky today. Perhaps, perhaps we're really not supposed to condition all the way to the roots with these products. Perhaps every other set of products I can do that Maybe, maybe not these. Okay. My hair feels really good. Like crazy light, but like really, really shiny and nourished. Hmm. Also, also this weird comb that I have is a comb from Lorraine Massey. It's one of the few that I like to kind of like comb through my roots and kind of make them look normal without breaking up my curl clamps. These are ridiculously expensive. I think there are other cheaper options. This is just the one that happens to live in my drawer right here that's easy to grab. And I'm gonna use it because I paid a lot of money for it. All right, let's take a quick look at the back. I think you're seeing what I'm seeing. We're not crazy curl enhanced. We're not the most ringletty wash day I have ever had. That being said, I do feel like my hair has had a very balanced, nutritionally dense meal, if you know what I'm saying. You know how if you eat a quinoa salad with sprouts and organic farm-raised chicken that was hand fed by virgins from the Himalayas, you feel extra healthy. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, but you get the idea. You eat a really, really nutritionally dense meal. You feel better. I feel like my hair has had a really nutritionally dense meal. I wish, I wish you could just like reach through the screen and touch my hair at this moment because it feels really good. That being said, that being said, this is one of the looser wash days I have had any very long time. It's not the most tight or curl enhanced wash day I have had during this one brand wash day series. And that tends to be my preferred look. I like a tighter curl on me, at least on wash day, because I know 
that gravity is going to slowly pull on my wavy hair and stretch it out till the next time I wash it. It's very normal for your wash days to stretch out from wash day to wash day, especially if you have wavier hair rather than a tighter curl pattern. I am pretty conflicted though because while I do normally love a tighter looking curl on me on wash day, I'm looking in the mirror and I feel pretty. I feel really polished and pretty at this moment. So feeling kind of conflicted. But anyway, as always with these one brand wash days, I will be back at the end of the night to show you how it held up through my wild and crazy mom life. And I'll be back on the morning of day two to show you how it held up overnight. And here we are at the end of the day. Wow, I am so tired. It's been a long day and this hair has been through a lot. It was incredibly windy today and I did nothing to protect or baby my hair or try and preserve it in any way. I just let it be wild and free. I mean, it's not great, but I also was really not nice to this hair. Most one brand wash days, I don't leave my hair down while I go outside and watch a baseball game for hours in the wind. <laughs> if I mentioned that it was windy. So I don't know how well this wash day is comparing to the rest of our wash days. Most of the time I am just doing things like running errands and working on the computer. So this hair has definitely been abused, but it sure, it sure didn't, didn't hold much. There's a decent amount of frizz happening. There's a lot of elongation with the curl. The gel definitely didn't claim any hold claims. Like it's not saying that it's a hard hold gel. It just says that it's supposed to be for shine and definition. Well, I, I don't know if we can claim shine or definition anymore. I guess there is decent shine. It's just kind of hard to see it because of all the frizz because there's no definition left in my hair, but I was getting windblown. My hair still feels really nice, like really good, like really, really good. For having been out in the wind as much as I was today, my hair is minimally tangly. It is just a touch tangly. Excuse me, combing out my curls with my fingers, what little curls I have left but I'm trying to show you that, <laughs> I mean, there's decent detangling in my hair, which is pretty impressive. That being said, I'm trying to find good things to say about this because I am pretty bummed with how my hair is looking. I like the fragrance. I like how my hair feels. Feels really healthy. It's just kind of stretched out and sad. So let's see if somehow putting my hair up in the overnight pineapple work some magic and when I come back in the morning either I have a better attitude or my hair looks better. Let's find out. Good morning guys. Here we are on the morning of day two. I'm aggressively ripping out my overnight pineapple. Oh okay. Okay. Apparently I woke up with a slightly better attitude. I am kind of liking what I'm seeing. My hair does feel still a tad bit tangled from the wind yesterday, but it still feels like nourished and hydrated and feeling pretty good. Let's take a look at the back. Not bad, not bad. I'm in a better mood this morning. All right, guys, that is it for this one brand wash day. If you found it helpful, if you liked seeing me try out some painfully expensive products, please give this video a thumbs up and share it. It really does help me out and it's a free way to support this channel, which I really appreciate. <laughs> Final thoughts-ish on this one brand wash day. The gel made no claims to hold, it, it has light hold. But if you are looking for a line that is going to deeply nourish and nurture your hair, this is a good one. I like this. I haven't tried or felt anything like this, quite like this anyway, in the past. I'm kind of impressed with like the quality. I didn't love the wash day because it was a less hold than what I normally like. As always, I sure hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.